Hey guys, Goat Mumbler here. Thanks for checking in. As you can see before you, we've got some Strider knives. See? It says so right there. Now it might be uh, Nick Strider, or it might be Dick Strider, or maybe Pablo Strider. But I can tell you who it's not, and that's Mick Strider. You can probably tell right offhand by the awesome high dollar box that these came in. Just about one step up from a cigarette carton. And you could probably also tell if you were able to hold this in your hand because this thing is quite the boat anchor. That it's not an original Mick Strider. I was at the gun show a while back. And there's a dealer there uh, that sells quite a few knives. He's got some uh, ZTs, Penders, some Chris Reeves, Striders, a couple others. So I'm always stopping by and checking in with him, and he sees me and waves me over and says, Hey, man, check this out. So he hands me this, and uh, I don't own a Strider. And first thing I notice is, man, this thing weighs you know, a ton. But it uh, says Strider right there. Not G10, it's kind of G junk, some sort of cheap plastic, but kind of looking at all the markings on it, and compared to the ones he's got on his table, seem to be in line with the one that I'm holding. Except the one that is on the table is titanium, so it weighs a lot less. So he goes, yeah, I, I took this in in trade on some other stuff, you know, you give me 20 bucks for it. Well, hell, I've been walking around for an hour and a half, hadn't bought anything, and except some cashews. So you can't leave the gun show without buying something. So I was like, well, yeah, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. It's all right for a beater knife. I've blown $20 on dumber stuff before. So now, I've got me a Strider. Of course, it takes two hands to close this, because look at that lockup. It's like a lockup from hell. Ugh. So anyway, kind of loose. I don't have the tool for this pivot, so I can't really do any work to it. But I'm carrying it around for a couple weeks, and it's a little bigger than than the than the knives that I like to carry. Uh, what I've been carrying lately is ZT566. Really, really like this knife here, but. You can tell it's just a little bit smaller. Than the Strider. Of course Strider makes some smaller ones too. So I'm carrying this beat up clone around for a couple of weeks. I'm going, man, this is kind of liking this. I guess a little bigger than I fit in too bad. I liked it so much, I went on the internet that Al Gore invented, of course, and started looking at some of these clones. And I started comparing them to uh, the original US made mixed riders. And man, these things are pretty darn close. And the reason is, is because there are a lot of US manufacturers that have some of their lower end knives built in China, so there might be a manufacturing plant that has, you know, five or six lines running for different manufacturers over there, so they have the capability, they have the technology to turn out some good stuff. I just really love the grind on this thing. So I decided to buy a couple of them. I went super low end on these. These are $16.50 a piece. I bought them from the same guy, so they came in this little coffin here. So I was able to combine shipping, which didn't matter because shipping's free on just about everything you buy over there. Here's what's funny. They valued uh, two knives at $8 US. So I kind of thought that was, that was wild. Uh, packaged real well. Uh, it does take three to four weeks to get stuff from China, so just be patient if you decide to do this. But I'm sitting here thinking about this stuff with, you know, if I'm going to jump out and really buy a Strider, spend 400 bucks for one, I want to make sure that it's really what I want and 
and I like it. And I figured the best way to do that is by buying some of these cheap-ass clones and carrying them around and see what I thought. Now, if I had this pivot tool here, I could uh, take this knife apart and, and do some work to it. Now, like I was saying earlier, the quality is, is pretty darn good. Even on the, the low end here, you can see this is riding on uh, bronze washers. Uh, but I'm pretty sure just by feeling it that it's uh, there's not a bronze bushing in there for the, uh, the pivot. It's just, it's just metal on metal. Stainless steel frame. Uh, I'm not sure what the metal is. Uh, whatever they tell you is there's probably no way to verify it, but it, it's not going to be a real good metal. They're uh, somewhat sharp when they come in, not super sharp. But, you know, $16.50. What do you expect? Crappy little uh, G junk, not even, a, obviously not G10. Uh, plastic hollow sounding handles. Now, if you go and check out some of the other clones, they've got about three levels. You can go up to, you know, 35 bucks or so, and, and you're going to get something a little better. Probably a little, the, the G10 handles will be actual G10, a lower quality. And then you can jump on all the way up to 75, 85 bucks, and you'll actually get a titanium frame. And, um, you know, the pivot may have a bronze washer in it, may not. Uh, some people say it, they do. Some people say they don't. You just never can tell until you take one apart. But I would imagine the uh, G10 is actual G10. Maybe not as nice as uh, what's on my, my ZT here, but still will be actual G10 rather than, than, than whatever this is. Now, before all the hate mail and comments start coming in, you know, about, well, you need to be buying America and you're taking money out of Mick Strider's pocket and blah, blah, blah. Well, no, I'm not. And the reason is because I had never had any intentions of buying a $400 Strider knife. Just wasn't going to do it. Uh, it's just not something that uh, the design didn't appeal to me, the length of it didn't appeal to me, the price didn't appeal to me. However, the more I carry these around, especially this one, I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I'm leaning towards uh, buying the real thing. Uh, this one is identical in just about every way I can think of. I mean, even counting the number uh, on the jimping, just counting the number is, is the same. Uh, the markings are the same. They're in the same place. Um, you know, there's, you know you, could, you could pass one off for a real one, you know, one of the better ones. It's, it's actual titanium, the $75, $80 one. You could actually pass that off as a real one if you wanted to. I have no intentions of ever, you know, trying to pawn these off on anybody as, as real ones. Matter of fact, I'll probably give these away to some of my buddies as a stocking stuffer or Christmas gift or something like that. But I'm not going to say, hey, man, check it out. I got you a Strider, you know. That, that's not the plan. But after carrying them a while, you know, my feelings about actually buying a Strider knife are, are now a lot different than they were uh, from when I first picked one up. My next project is to uh, get a Chris Reeves Sabenza. Now I've, I've held some of the lower end crappy little $20 uh, clones in the Sabenza and they're stainless, they're heavy, and I didn't like them at all. But I got to looking at some of the higher end ones, you know, in the $85, $90 range and, and they're titanium and and the detail is is much much better. I may do the same with that and end up with a real Sabenza one of these days too. I just don't know. But that's kind of my philosophy on this stuff, guys. Um, do what you will. All I can say is that uh, do not fear of buying these clones from China. You're going to get a really good quality knife for the price. I'm stressing for the price. You're going to find the markings are going to be damn near identical to what you're going to get on a real one. But don't kid yourself. This, this ain't the real deal. If you jump up to the higher end, you'll get better G10. Titanium frame. Now, the frame uh, is probably not going to be the quality of titanium we have here in the States. But it will be titanium. I think the clip will still be stainless, though. Um... But as far as the fit and finish, it's, it's going to be pretty good for, for the money. So 
Fear not, jump out there and grab you one if you like it. If not, you don't have much money in it. So until next time, you guys be prepared, be aware, and leave any comments that you might have, positive or negative, doesn't bother me. And we'll see you down the road. Adios. Hey guys, Goat Mumbler here. Thanks for checking in. I was at the gun show a while back, and there's a knife dealer there that I always stop and visit with. He waves me over and says, hey, check this out. So he hands me this little beauty. And I said, hey, that's pretty cool. Now he's got some striders on his table, along with some other good quality knives. And I noticed right away that this thing was a tank. And the, this is not G10, this is like G junk, some sort of plastic. And I said, ah, let me guess, this is a, a fake. And he goes, oh yeah, it's fake. He goes, give me 20 bucks for it. And I'm going, well, hell, kind of a cool grind, stone wash. Well, I don't have a Strider, even though this might be a Pablo Strider or a Rick Strider, not a Mick Strider. Yeah, I'll give you 20 bucks. Got the lock up from hell, takes two hands to close it. So I'm comparing it to the ones he's got on the table. Of course, you know, his are titanium frame, obviously a lot lighter weight, but identical in just about every way that I could see. I mean, just just about every way. So I'm carrying this thing a couple weeks. Never been a Strider fan. Never even thought that I would be interested in one of these because it's a little bigger than what I like to carry. And obviously this one's a lot heavier. But the more I carried it, I said, man, this, this could work. I kind of like it. So I read up on the Strider knives and stuff, but just wasn't ready to fork out 400 bucks for one. But, I said, you know what? I might try some of these clones and just see if, you know, to see if I like them enough. So I go to AliExpress, start looking out there. Here's the same design as the one I bought for 20, except these were 1650. This is the smooth handle versus the the rougher one, I forget exactly what uh, Mick Strider calls this. Didn't really care for this one. Really kind of digging this one. So I bought a couple. This one needs some work. Lockup's not that great. So I bought two. $16.50. And it takes three to four weeks to get these things from China. Just got to be patient. And I was really happy with what I had. Now the quality of these knives, you have to understand that they are making knives for a lot of American manufacturers over there. There might be a plant turning out knives for, you know, half a dozen manufacturers in the same plant. So they have the technology, and they have the capability of making knives and making damn good ones. So for $16.50, the quality of this is just outstanding. They were fairly sharp when they came. Need some work. I didn't do anything with these knives. I don't have the tool for this pivot here, so I can't really do anything to them. Uh, this one has no blade play. It's pretty stiff, though. Uh, this one here uh, is a lot looser. You can actually flick this one open, uh, but it does have quite a bit of blade play here. But uh, when it's open, it doesn't. Lockup's kind of inconsistent. Centering's not, not too bad. So anyway, what I'm saying is, for almost no money, you can buy a handful of knives over there and really carry them around and see if that's what you, you really like. And if you really start digging on it like I did, you start thinking, oh, I really kind of like a... I really kind of like this Strider design. I think maybe I'll buy a new one, and I'll, but I'll buy one from Mick, or I'll buy it from a dealer over here, but I'm going to buy an original one. And that's kind of where I am on this. So before the, you know, the hate comments and the hate mail starts coming in, I'm not taking any money out of any American's pockets because I had zero intentions of buying a real Strider knife. 
I, I just, I'm not one of those guys that goes out and spends four or 500 bucks on a folder, especially a mass produced folder like these. So, but now after carrying these, you know, I'm kind of leaning that way. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy a, a clone of a Sabenza because I, I really like the Chris Reeves design, but I just, I'm not going to spend 425, 450 bucks for one. Now, if you feel the same way I do, and you're thinking along the same lines I am, and you're going, hey, I'm, I might get a clone. Let me just give you a couple tips buying from AliExpress. And they don't hide this at all either. There's several levels of these clones. This is the absolute low end, but you can see that the quality is still pretty good. Now you're going to get some, this is going to be a cheap plastic scale on here. It sounds hollow. Sounds cheap. It's because it is cheap. You can move up to $35 range here, and from what I could see, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference in the knives. Uh, the handles might be a little better, but that's all I could see. Then you could jump on up to the $75 to $85 range where you will actually get a titanium frame rather than this heavy stainless steel. Now, if you're just wanting to go the cheap route, you're not going to spend $400, you're never going to spend $400 but you want a titanium knife, you can jump up there and spend a little more money and do that. You'll probably end up with actual G10 rather than this stuff here. You'll get nice G10 handles like on my new uh, ZT566 here. Yeah, I'll just let you take a quick peek at it. It's my favorite carry knife here. But you'll probably get some actual decent G10 on the $75, $85 clone. You will get a titanium frame, but just read the description because it's, be, it's gonna be pretty accurate from what I've seen from these guys. Now, just like on Amazon or just like eBay, uh, there's feedback in there and you can see who you're buying from and what kind of feedback they've given. One tip I will give you, because I'm gonna do a video on buying from AliExpress because it's a little different and a hair more complicated than some of the US people, but look at the service time as far as shipping times. There's gonna be guys in there that say ships in three to five days, okay? There's gonna be people that say ships in 10 to 20 days, and there's actually people that are saying, you know, 15 to 30 days. Now, that's that's shipping it. That means they, have, they don't have any knives in stock. They're gonna go buy some and turn around and ship them to you. So try to pick out a guy that has you know, three to five days, you know, shipping. And at least it'll be out the door. Now, it's going to take about a month to get this knife, so don't get in a hurry. They're coming from China, and they're just coming by, you know, postal service. Now, here's how mine came, and they, they do a good job. Uh, packaged nicely. Don't have to worry about that. But here's what's funny. Look at the uh, value U.S. and U.S. dollars. Eight dollars. <laughs> so... They're, uh, they're trying to, to make money by volume over there, obviously, if they value two knives at, at $8. But don't get in a big hurry, because uh, it's going to be at least three weeks, probably closer to four before you get them. And uh, I've had no problems buying stuff from overseas. Now, as far as philosophy of buying these clones, I have no problem buying this stuff. I'm not taking money out of Mick Strider's pocket, because I was never going to spend $400 on one of his knives. But now that I've handled uh, some of the clones, uh, I'm really leaning that way. And I think a lot of other people will, will feel the same way too if they do it. So anyway, in a nutshell, that's my thoughts on this stuff. If you guys feel the same way, check out AliExpress. Uh, just don't get in a big hurry. Read the fine print. Get set up over there and and uh, buy you a bunch of knives and enjoy them. And hopefully you'll enjoy them enough to where you'll decide, hey, I think I'm gonna go for the real thing. Buy American, you know. Till next time, be aware, be prepared. We'll see you down the road. Adios.